Go Math here to do another problem off the general curriculum math subtest. This is problem number nine. Uh, this is all part of the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshop series where we're exploring different uh, concepts that are on the MTEL Math Workshops. And uh, these uh, concepts could also be applied very easily to the 50, the 51, the 53, the 47, the 09 Math MTEL. So if you're a teacher preparing for these uh, workshops, or, or preparing for these exams, you should check out these videos. You should share it with your friends. And I would definitely, you know, recommend signing up for one of the workshops that are coming up in Harvard Square and sort of get, you know, as current information and the new strategies that are out there as possible. But for now, take this in and have fun. Number nine of the general curriculum math subtest. Use the problem below to answer the question that follows. And they give this portion of the problem in a box. Given that 100 milliliters is equal to approximately 4, 0.4 cups, 205 milliliters is approximately how many cups? Then it says, which of the following expressions models the solution to the problem above? And it gives us a bunch of, a bunch of answer choices. So these answer choices, they're not the solution. They're the way that I would get to the solution, which means i got to look in the problem. This is kind of like a play within a play within a play sort of thing. In this case, it's just a, a problem within a problem. But uh, it definitely uh, means that we got to first start with the actual problem itself. Now, when you see something like something is equal, is equal to something, and then you have the same structure, something else is equal to something else, what we have here is two parallel ratios. For every 100 milliliters, we ha we're using up 0 0.4 cups. Now that is equal, because remember it says it's equal to approximately, um, um, it's giving us a ratio. Now we're going to use that same ratio, but increase the values to 205 milliliters is equal to how many cups? And we're looking for a way to get to that answer. The first part is to be able to set up those two um, ratios and balance them and set it up. That's the first way. Now these are very much like two fractions, two equivalent fractions. So you gotta ask yourself, approximately, because remember, remember how in that other problem we had approximately and I, I made that joke? That's like someone begging you to go on a date. Will you please, will you please do this, please, please? Well, they're begging you to approximate your answers. So, sure, it's 205, but let's just say it's approximately 200. How do I get from, how did I do that? Because it said approximately. How do I get from 100 to 200? What am I going to do to the 100? And this is either a multiplication or division uh, computation. I'm going to take 100 and I'm going to double it or multiply it by a factor of 2 to get the 200. So doesn't it make sense that I'm going to take the 0 0.4 and double it or increase it by a factor of 2? And when you increase something by a factor of 2, isn't that the same as increasing it by 200%? Right? Someone doubles your salary, your salary is just increased by 200%. So I'm going to take the 4, multiply it by 2, and get to the number of uh, cups. Or I could rewrite that as 0 0.4 times 2 is going to get me my answer. Now, I'm like, great, I found an expression that gets me my answer. And I look at the answer choices, and I'm like, uh, blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe I'm hoping you could eliminate answer choice A and C. Because they're not very they're not like this at all. But then you're like, well, how is B and D even close to this? Well, remember how I said two? You can think of two as another way, two is the same as increasing something by two hundred percent. Because when you when you're doubling something, that's like two over one, that's actually two hundred percent. Just as one over one is one whole, it's one whole pizza pie, that's equal to a hundred percent. Well, 2 over 1 is like 2 pizza pies, and that's 200%. So this is another way of thinking about this is 200% of, of his code for multiply, 0 0.4. And that gets us here. So there's a lot of stuff in this problem. 
This is definitely a fraction decimal and percent problem. It's a ratio problem. We, ha we, could, we can think about creating two equivalent fractions, the 100 over 0 0.4 equal to, you know, 205 over something. Uh, this is also um, a problem that you're using the strategy of approximately and rounding your answers to a value that makes, uh, that's a lot easier to sort of make the connections. Um, and then also it's, it's being able to look at the 205% and being like, hey, that's the same as 2. And the word of is another word for multiply. So you got to you understand sort of the syntax in which these problems can be written in various ways to mean the same thing. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. Again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Check out one of the Harvard Square Elemental Math workshops or uh, sign up for some one-to-one -one tutoring if you need one-to-one um, -one attention on Intel math uh, problems. Keep on sending your questions. Have a great day, everyone, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.